is something we need It's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave To so take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening It's something you don't know You need a little enlightening It'll make you grow It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the day If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there oh, It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the day Good morning, happy peoples. Hope your day is going awesome. Check this out. It is, it's almost winter. It's almost winter. This is definitely here to stay. This will not be leaving. Some of you guys have asked like when, uh, <laughs> when does your snow actually melt? Mm, April. <laughs> you will be having this until then. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you're doing great. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It just, uh, I don't know, it seems like we tell you that a lot and not enough all at the same time, but appreciate you guys for being here and just checking in with us. Today, I need to go do a job walkthrough downtown uh, in North Pole, a couple projects uh, that might have to do, we will see. So what's happening here is I work, I work HVAC controls for those of you that don't know, um, and which means, <laughs> I don't know what that means to most people. They go, what is that? What's the, is it like duct work or is it heating? HVAC is heating, ventilation, air conditioning. But I work on the control side of it, so I make all these things work. And one thing that's changed with this whole crazy COVID time in the world is a lot of standards are adjusting just a little bit. So they're putting, remember when I took you guys on the airplane to Kodiak and we kind of did like, this is what it's like flying here. What they're doing is they're putting in HEPA filters in a lot of commercial buildings. Uh, which cost a lot, that's why they haven't done them before, but they're putting HEPA filters in and they're increasing more outside air. A lot of times, like I said, they will recirculate or reuse the same air uh, that you have, kind of like the recirculation button in your car. Well, a lot of these commercial buildings, they're trying to adjust to be able to allow for more outside air. It's just the world we live in, right? Hopefully it goes away, but it's nice to have some of the standards just in case, you know, I don't know, maybe in the 20 years, this kind of thing happens again. See what it's gonna take to do uh, over at like a fire station, I think city hall, see what we need to do about bringing in some ventilation. Cause a lot of times guys, older codes, uh, to be able to meet your minimum code for uh, breathable air, for ventilation, a lot of times your windows will actually suffice. So in small commercial buildings, that's good enough. But in this current world that we live in, uh, businesses and are trying to put in more uh, air handlers or rooftop units. So I'm gonna go to work on that. There's also some other stuff happening today that I wanted to fill you guys in on. A bit of an announcement, I guess, on some money and some stuff that's coming up. The mayor just gave us a call and want us to kick out some information for any of the local people here that might be able to help them. But all right, let's get started with the day. Uh, pretty crazy in the snow. I like the plow, by the way. The plow is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun plowing this year with that. It's just, I mean, you can get in tight places and anyway, good times. All right, let's get started with the day and then I'll bring you guys to a couple jobs and see if we can figure out a solution to be able to bring in some more air. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up, no I won't stop, it is my time, mm -hmm. cause I know what it's like to be broke, I know what it's like when nothing goes your way, 
So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way, and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care 'cause I am on my way up, and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. We're doing all the things, right? We're always doing all things. Mm -hmm. Working on some studies here. Um, I just got an exciting order delivered. I'm so excited, guys. I was kind of nervous that it wasn't going to come with all the craziness of what is shipping. Don't mind my office. It's literally blown up. Don't mind Hi. my office. It's literally blown literally up. Literally blown up. When my babe actually just took off to go to North Pole. He is working on some stuff for the city um, as far as the fire station and city hall. They're getting some new ventilation systems put in, so that's pretty cool. Some in-town work, I'm all about that. But we are just kind of staying home today, getting caught up on some things, finishing up all things school. How is your guys' school year going? I haven't really touched base with you guys on that. Um, how, it's, how it's looking for you guys? Is it, is it going well? Is, are you experiencing a little bit of the rockiness because you're not quite settled in? Are you ready for it to be over? No, we would never hope that, would we? Bed's not made. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I've been loving my exercise bike. Um, I've been working out on this every so often. Like, I've been trying to do it every day, but sometimes I take, like, just, like, one day break. I'm going to get back on it tonight. Um, I did an arm and shoulder workout on it the other day. Holy guacamole. The reason why I got this bike, okay, it's a very expensive bike. It's very expensive. But being with everything that kind of has transpired with the world and not being able to get to a gym and um, I really missed my cardio stuff and I used to run a lot. And with the snow, I mean, I can still run in the snow. I have done it, but I get nervous. I get nervous when I'm going out by myself and it just hasn't been as enjoyable because I don't get to really relax. So this has been great. A pretty good substantial discount on it, um, being as I had to set it up all by myself. Not really, my babe helped me. Um, we had to set it up and assemble it, like it came no assembled. A lot of people think that when you have to assemble the bike, it's just like putting on the little screen. No, ours came in pieces. So. We had to like set it up, so they knocked money off for that. And then um, I bought the older bike, which they just released their new one. So I got like, I think it was like $350 off from that. And then I ended up getting two things of accessories because they messed up on my shipping. <laughs> so I really, I really got a good deal. I, it took, I was so, I was like, oh, do I really want to spend that kind of money for this? Say too, that if you are planning on getting one of these, it took 10 weeks to get to me in Alaska, 10 weeks. Keep that in mind because that was a minute. Such a big expenditure. I was like, uh, you're gonna need to hurry up. You're gonna, you're gonna need a scampy dampy. Just to let you know, 10 weeks it took. We got quite a bit of snowstorm the other day. Very, can you see? Is it gonna be blown out? There she is. Lots of snow. It's definitely here to stay. But the sooner it's here to stay, the sooner it can go away. Right? We're gonna be start we're gonna start gaining daylight here in the next couple months. That's what I'm gonna look at it. Okay, so let's meander on, keep continuing on the day. Hopefully I'll be able to get out and go check the mail. Or maybe I could have my babe do that. Am 
might have my babe do that. And I'll just stay at home and teach the one who's struggling. He's struggling. Okay, let's continue on with the day. I hope your guys' day is going fantastic. If it's not, there's always tomorrow, right? Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Push through. Push through. Okay, let's check in on Babe and see how he's doing. I got to figure it out. Crazy. Okay, City Hall. That's an easy one. They just need to have some more filters installed. Pretty easy, but the fire uh, station here, which there was there was actually a call that went out. I guess there is an accident on the road. The roads are pretty crazy right now. I'm working on the air handler, so hopefully everyone's okay. Appreciate these guys. We appreciate the fire department that can uh, put their lives on the line if we need to. They need to go rush into a burning building and go save us or our kids. So at least we can do is take care of the ventilation. So the mayor's going to take care of that. We'll swap out an air handler here. This one's pretty a uh, little bit more intense here. Um, and it hasn't been working in years, so this would be very good to get this taken care of. This ventilation take care of, so right now, big push for a lot of this ventilation, like I was telling you before, is a lot of ventilation changes and a lot of the HEPA filter requirements, outside air requirements, so they're upgrading here and at City Hall. City Hall is a lot easier to do. This is a little bit more involved, but I've got to find a way to get parts coming, and it could be eight weeks out, but hopefully we can get this resolved quickly. I'll send you guys back home and check on the family and see how they're doing. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night. Good job, babe. Hallelujah. We might be. Now I just got to do the work. We might Figured be. Problem. I just got to find someone to do the work. <laughs> <laughs> we might be creeping outside. You're outside. <laughs> and we might. Busted. 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 <laughs> we're like, we're. Do your night just like, Let's go creep on daddy. Okay, we'll let you go so you can finish. Bye. Just see how you're doing. Love you, bye. Great Alaska Pizza Company. One day a month. What is it? Tuesdays? Whatever today is. One day a month, Great Alaska Pizza Company has $5 pizzas. My wife's like, can you just swing over and grab some dinner? Is anyone else like this? Like, I would rather pay double for the pizza to not have to stand in line. The line is way out into the parking lot, outside. Am I gonna go stand outside, you might ask? Because I love my wife and this makes her happy. This has nothing to do with logic or saving money. This is about making my wife happy. So I'm gonna go do it with a good, grateful spirit. Kind of. I'm gonna try to have a grateful spirit. Dinner for you, my love. Thanks, babe. That's what happens when our kids leave. They abandon us for some reason. They're either they either want to go to Nena's or Grandma's house. Yeah, well, we're chopped liver. I guess so. Actually, Audrey's working on math. She is. That's yeah. true. That's true. Audrey, is, Evelyn is finishing up science over there. She mm -hmm. went with her science homework. Garrett merely goes to play games. Yeah, because they have internet fast enough you can actually like stream, stream videos and things. They love it. I had a meeting with the mayor today and I thought I'd pass this on Sit actually. Sit down. Sit what? down, honey. Here's... Okay. Uh. Look at you. Uh. There you go. Uh. There you go. Just cuddle on in. Cuddle on in. You look like you had a hard day. It's it's been a doozy. It's been a doozy of a day. What did you do what to you... the side of your face? I don't know. I think I cut myself. That does not. That looks almost borderline infected. I need some triple ante. Did you find out? You went to talk to the mayor. I know. I Facetimed you. I okay. kind of stalked you. Couple things, you real quick. Him to real the, quick. To the city hall. I, I know that. Actually, I don't know how many people really follow us locally, but just some local info here. Mm. If you're in North Pole, uh, COVID testing. They're doing free COVID testing. I didn't know. Did not know this. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, noon to six. North Pole Mall, the mall, <laughs> the mall in North Pole. 
Um, okay. Yes, it's closest we have to a mall. Yep. Um, between noon and six, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, free. Wow. Rapid testing. Rapid? Yep. So there you go. I, I learned something today too. I did not Pretty know awesome. that. The mayor also reached out and he said, hey, can you just mention this? He goes, I have a problem. I am trying to give away money and I can't find people to give away money to. So this is the deal, the CARES Act, and I'm very confused with the whole thing, but we actually literally have a contact and we're gonna put his name right down below in the description, Aaron Rhodes with the city of North Pole. Give him a call if you are anywhere in the borough. So here's the deal. Uh, if you are a resident of the city of North Pole, now North Pole is only what, 2,200-ish people, mm. pretty small. Okay. But if you're a resident of the city of North Pole, uh, you can access CARES money. They're trying to give this money away, but they can't give it away unless there's been hardship with COVID. Um, well, I, I should back up here. Let me back up a little bit. So the CARES Act, and I learned about this. So the CARES Act deals with nonprofits and businesses. So I'm guessing probably anywhere in the U.S., but I can't really speak to that. Right now it affects, uh, I can only talk to our area here in Alaska, businesses and nonprofits. If you've been impacted by COVID, uh, you can turn in your application. Now, I'm not sure how that works around the state. So this doesn't, it isn't families? This is not families. This is just generally speaking uh, in the borough here. If you, if your business or nonprofit's been affected, um, go ahead and give Aaron a call. He'll tell you who to talk to, easy stuff. I, he actually knows like what forms and paperwork to fill out, how that works. Now, what the city of North Pole did that was over and above is not only does will they cover businesses and nonprofits, they also cover families. Oh, so, if you, so the families are the ones that get assistance if they need it in the city correct. of North Pole. And this is like if you're struggling to make your mortgage, if you're struggling oh. on on uh, child care, if you've been impacted on your job with COVID, and the mayor's like, I've got all this money. I don't know even how to get the word out. If you've been affected and they are waiting to give you guys money. So Do they contact the same person? Yep. For that? Yep. So anywhere here in the North Star Borough, just call Aaron. He'll just, just go guide, there. Guide you in the right the, direction. He'll shoot you in the right direction. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but like dealing with federal things, I'm always afraid I'm going to do something like wrong. I don't want to like get in trouble, but Aaron will point you in the right direction. Give him a call. I just talked to him today. And, uh, and the mayor, I think they only processed like five people and they have lots of money they're trying to give away. We are not in the city limits of North Pole. No. And also, uh, I do not feel that we are affected by COVID the way many businesses are. There's a lot of businesses here that have shut down. North Pole, like the Santa Claus house, I think mm -hmm. is way down just because there's no tourism here, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, probably the hotel, the uh, is struggling. Um, I think the restaurants are doing fairly good, but they weren't for a while. Right. Okay. Also curious to know, like, th this is just our experience information from talking to our mayor. Do you guys have uh, some kind of systems in place to be able to access some of this money where you are? I just want to let you guys know about that for any of the local folks here uh, in the borough. And with that, we won't keep any more. Appreciate you guys being a part. Yeah. I really did anything on the vlog today. Sorry about it. I've been work we've been working on all the things. Our life. It's just whatever it is. <laughs> whatever we got, we share with you. So the good and the bad. There you yes. go. Coming along. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take it away, kids. Take it away, kids. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way.